Tamsin and Corey, even when it's night, there's a lot of light around here, but there's always something going on up above our head, uh, especially this week. So let's wish upon some stars. As the sun goes down Monday and Tuesday evening, cue the moon. But this isn't the only show in the sky. NASA is shooting these stars, technically the brightest shower of meteors this year. Their cameras across the United States are aimed straight up. And sometimes, as in this one in Alabama, this is what they see. Do we have too much light around New York City sometimes? Can, can we see things from, from the city? We can see a lot from the city, and it is very bright. So it makes it challenging to see a lot of the deep sky objects, the galaxies, clusters, and nebula. But a lot of what we do for our public observing is really bright things, so planetary objects. There's a lot of light in the city even when it's night. But that doesn't stop the Amateur Astronomers Association of New York. They set up telescopes monthly. Irene Pease is the president. That we have a lot of observing sites throughout the season, starting in the spring, running all through the summer and into the fall. We have regular observing sites in all five boroughs. Who needs the paparazzi when you have the planetarium at the American Museum of Natural History? They have meteors to see, science to learn. What is that up there that's uh, flying around? The big around? one's probably a size of a grain of rice. The small ones are the size of a sesame seed or a poppy seed. And it does that, right? Now. And it's coming in so fast. The Perseid meteor shower is at its peak Monday and Tuesday evening, usually in the hours after midnight. I saw one really giant one at about 4 a.m. So that's a stretch. Staying up till 4 is, is a tough one. Was, uh, and is that local? You're in the boroughs, or do you have I'm to be right in Manhattan. I'm okay. 20 blocks from the museums. Greater odds, of course, outside the city. Some state parks uh, on Long Island, Jones Beach, are staying open later Monday and Tuesday night to accommodate uh, star watchers out there. You really have better odds in August to see a shooting star because of where the Earth is and all that space stuff moving around. Plus, the planet Saturn is bright in the sky tonight. Uh, take a look at that. I know you can see that. I've been watching that uh, all this week. Live outside the American Museum of Natural History, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.